kind of. Let me explain. The beta for DaVinci Resolve 17 just came out today. And among all the new shiny things to catch your eye, the thing that I am most excited about is the addition of Resolve FX templates. I've been really into the macro system infusion and creating presets in Resolve for a little while, and this new functionality has me so, so excited. Whereas previously you could only save titles, generators, or transitions, now you can take any fusion composition and save it as an effect you can drag and drop on the edit page onto any new footage. Expect lots of videos on this because it is so powerful, the functionality is incredible, and I don't really think too many people see the possibilities right now. It's totally possible to create amazing effects with this, but it's also possible to save you hours of time editing. A few videos ago, I made a preset for the Fusion page that could instantly format a lot of your gameplay clips and highlights into vertical video for TikTok or Instagram Reels. I still really like that preset and it's totally functional, but with Resolve 17, we can bring that power to the edit page. Let me show you how easy this is. I'm gonna right click in my media pool, create a new timeline, change the format to 1080 by 1920, and I'm gonna make sure that my mismatch resolution is scale entire image to fit. That is important. I'll create that, and then here I have a gameplay clip that I used in the previous video as well. And so because we clicked that scaling option, it'll shrink it down. But then with this selected, if I open the effects library, go to effects, scroll down, you'll see that I have created a TikTok effect. And if we just hover over this, it will apply it and preview it. And you'll see that we are actually getting somewhere. So I'm gonna drag that onto my clip, open my inspector, go over to effects, and here I have all of these controls. By default, this preset gets you 80, 90% of the way there, but there is some fine tuning that you'll have to do. But stay tuned because there is a way to save those settings. The most important setting is this move to camera. By default, this preset sort of assumes that your camera will be in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. But I'm using a sample clip where the webcam is in the lower left-hand corner, so we have to modify this. So I'm gonna change this, slide this footage over until you see our subject. And then you can reposition that in frame. You can change the height and width of this mask. You can even round these corners into a circle. And then you have several other options like the camera position in frame, the camera size, and then this main footage, we have a position for that and a size slider for that. And by default, we have this background layer that's blurred out in the background. But with just a little bit of tweaking, we pretty much edited this clip for TikTok, for Instagram, for Facebook stories or YouTube shorts. And all of this so far is here native on the edit page. Line up a park here. Good. As you see, that didn't take very much time at all. But if you're gonna be churning through all of these highlights for social media, there is one further step that can save you even more time. In the inspector, inside effects, where you see this main TikTok effect, you have this button to open the effect in the Fusion page. If we click that, it will load up and you'll see this TikTok group of nodes. We just need to make sure this is selected. You'll see those same controls in the inspector, but if we right click on the title for TikTok, we can come down to settings and save as. And if I were to just save this as TikTok, save that, then if we were to pull in that clip again, it would be back to normal. We could drag our TikTok template onto it and you'll see it will revert to those default settings. But if we go to our inspector, FX, go back to the Fusion page, select that TikTok preset, right click again and go back down to settings, we now have a load option. We'll click that click TikTok, load it, and it will load all of those settings that we customize for this layout. If you're a streamer or a content creator and you want to regularly put out gaming clips on any of these social media that use vertical video, this could save you in the long term hours and hours of time editing. And this new update to Resolve makes it faster and easier than ever. And this is just the first preset that came to mind when I saw this new functionality. I'm so excited to explore this more and bring you more free presets to make your life easier and to make your videos cooler. A link to this preset will be in the description along with directions for where you'll have to drag the dot setting file to use this on the edit page. I'm very excited to get this preset out to more people. If this video was useful to you or if you end up using this preset, drop a link to your TikTok or any other social media down in the comments. I would love to check it out. This new update to Resolve is amazing and I am so excited about the videos that I have planned for you. So to make sure you don't miss any of those, consider subscribing and thanks. I'll see you next time.